Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today, I'm actually gonna be pulling these radishes right here. I've got some carrots on either side, and I had planted everything really too close. And I put some radishes that, honestly, I don't know what they will turn out to be. They're called Rambo radish. I had gotten them as a microgreen, but I had a bunch of seeds that I wanted to just grow them out and see what they look like. They're not quite ready, honestly, but they're getting so big that they're, they're too close to the carrots and they're blocking the light of the carrots. Now, I'd rather have the carrots than I do the radish, honestly. So I'm gonna pull them today. I'm gonna look at them, see what they look like. Maybe there's something to grow next year, but I am gonna feed them to the chickens. Now I might keep, if I've got any kind of actual radish root in there, I am gonna keep that and eat it. I think these are more like daikon radishes, which take 45, 50 days. So right here, guys, there's a row of carrots here. There's another row of carrots and a third row of carrots. These are beets, and I don't think they're blocking too much light. I think they're okay. There's another row of carrots. And then this one is the Danvers style carrots, and these are just growing right into it. In fact, I might have to pick the beets at one point too, and those are just microgreen beets. They're not necessarily a beet that I'm growing for the root. I just wanted to see what those turned out to be, um, but they're not ready for sure. These I don't think are. I think uh, I need a couple more weeks, but let's go ahead and start picking them now. This small one here definitely is probably nothing. Yeah, and it is. It's a daikon style radish, really long roots, but they're purple. A Rambo purple radish is the name of it. Let's see if any of these other ones are a little larger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? I think we're out a little bit larger. Let's see what the inside is. Maybe it's got a bright red center. I don't know. It's, it's a little purple, but it's white on the inside. Well, I mean, that'll... That'll cook up. I'll, I'll keep that. I'll give the greens to the chickens. Let's go ahead and pick all these. That one can just go to the chickens. That's I'm not going to mess with that. Oh, that one's much more purple. Boy, oh, that's interesting. Some of them are whitish, some of them purple. Let's see what the inside looks like. Oh, that one's purple on the inside. So that's interesting. Some of them are different. White. This one's a little larger than some of the others. Oh, yeah. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Hey, that one came out pretty nice, guys. Well, that obviously is going to the chickens. Now, I know you can eat the greens of radishes, but my family definitely doesn't like them, so. They don't get cooked in meals too often, and. Oh, I'll keep that. Oh, there we go. Well, maybe it's not like a daikon, because I mean, that that bulbed up rather than long, like daikons are super long. It's actually a nice little bulb on that. I almost feel like I've got a couple different varieties in here. They're not seeming to all be exact. So it's a little interesting. That goes to the chickens. Two more. Yeah. So that one's really purple. So I don't know what that is about. Some of them are more purple, some of them aren't. It's real interesting. Pretty cool. Now, I've got some of these still in here. I can pull out their seedlings that never got thinned out, I guess, or came up later, I never saw. I'll get these weeds out. Not bad, guys. All right, so that's going to open these Danvers carrots up to some light. And honestly, I might need to pull these beets pretty soon because I think they are blocking the light of the carrots. Let's see. Well, the beets aren't really all that big yet. Let's see. We'll pull one. Yeah, little beets. In fact, I want to cut that open and see what it looks like on the inside. See just how deep red that is. Oh wow, it's like a chiga, what is that called? This style beach, chigia. I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's these and they have that kind of striped red. That's beautiful, that's really nice. 
let's see if any of these other ones are a little larger you look at some of the that was one of the smaller ones let's look what we got here now that hasn't formed a bulb at all not not that one either and that's one of the larger ones i'll bring this in wash it up and see what it tastes like it's pretty cool i was not expecting that like that so i think i'm going to let these grow a little bit longer see if i can't get a little bigger size beets from that before i pick them i don't think they're blocking the light too much just yet maybe another week or two and i might get some larger size from this in a week or two but by the by the way guys these carrots are coming in real nice now of course i don't have carrots growing yet they're not they're not showing uh root size yet but Pretty soon, I don't think it's gonna to take too long. I mean, they've already really started to, the green is starting to really pop on them. So pretty soon, I don't think it'll take too long. I'm gonna go and take this to the chickens. They love this stuff. This is like some of their favorite food. There you go. Eat up, have fun. They're happy. Well, not a big harvest, but I mean, I didn't let them go as long as they should, but that'll go nice in a stew. I mean, it's not gonna be a lot, but I do have a turnip over here, by the way, that I might be able to just throw in the stew when I'm ready. There we go. Look at the size of this turnip. It's really doing well. It's, it's a pretty decent sized turnip. Nothing huge, but decent. And there's another one back there. Some of these didn't form. Some of them are small. So there we go, I can pick this, throw some turnips in a stew with this, and we got something. I'll be able to throw in a little bit of these onions, which are not ready yet, but I can use them as green onions. I still gotta thin some of them out. They're a little too compact together. And I've got the bunching onions, which aren't fully ready yet, but I can pick a, like one or two bunches. And there we go, I'll have a good little stew going, some meat. These ones I need to thin out too, so I can thin out these garlic leaves are also edible and taste like garlic so i can throw that in as well so be a good little stew <laughs> All right, well, if you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out, and I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.